North Korea's nuclear weapons test has many world leaders worried about what this most secretive nations might do next. Joining me to talk about it is Chris Springer, author of Pyongyang, The Hidden History of the North Korean Capital. Thank you for being here. Hi, Melissa. Many Westerners have been to North Korea. Not many Westerners, have obviously, have been to North Korea. You traveled there uh, in 1995 and also again in 2002. As we look at some of your photos from that visit, if we can show them, what is the most important thing for Americans to understand about North Korea? Well, uh, going there was really quite a shock because you go expecting to see a third world impoverished nation on the point of collapse. And at least when you're in the capital, what you see is exactly the opposite. Uh, uh, you see 13-lane boulevards with just trickles of traffic, and you see lavish monuments built out of marble and bronze. And uh, what that is is they've spared no expense in trying to create this, this showcase capital that Pyongyang is, and it says a lot about the degree of state control there, and also about how important uh, world prestige is to them. Well, here we are always hearing about a brutal regime that's letting its citizens starve in order to build weapons and also create what you just described. Did you see evidence of that? What, what can you tell us about how people actually live in North Korea? Right. Well, uh, people were tense when they saw foreigners, although some people smiled and waved. Uh, there was very little indication of the sort of police state uh, that that uh, you're talking about, although that does exist, um, it's, it's very well hidden from foreigners. Uh, we did, uh, on the few times when I was able to get away from the group, uh, I was followed by plainclothes security agents, uh, and I saw people uh, watching me from behind pillars and behind trees, so it was a little bit like being in a James Bond novel. Chris Springer, thank you so much. Thank you.